What up, guys? Welcome to Base Damage. Uh, here we are at podcast number 34. This is Kool Aid, and collaborating once again with me is uh, this super duper fabulous uh, Benley, Waifu Wars. What's up, bro? <laughs> hey, you guys. Glad to be here again. Hell yeah, man. You ain't come off that uh, ain't come off that high of getting first to Jacksonville yet, have you? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no yeah, I'm just with you. <laughs> Yeah, um, you're right. <laughs> I, I messaged uh, uh, the, uh, your buddy who got second place. I'm hoping we'll be able to get him on it uh, eventually as well. Oh, Oscar. Um, but yeah, um, this is really just awesome to have y'all on for basically trying to plan like a whole bunch of collaborations with people. Uh, between a lot of people who just messaged me like, "Hey, you mind if I'm on a podcast at one point?" And I'm just like, "Hell yeah, bring it on!" And just a whole bunch of stuff going on. Mm-hmm. Uh Let's see. As far as announcements to start off, this is just going to be uh, just one quick one. Uh, just a uh, link in the description for my buddy Chris Cohn, uh, his Twitch stream where he they stream D and D and they uh, take donations for a charity for Children's Miracle Network. And uh, just check them out. It's really cool. I think they're doing uh, yeah they're doing a uh, fifth edition. I keep forgetting every single time, so it's my fault. <laughs> but uh, link in the description for that. Please check it out. But uh. The main topic today, and this is actually coming from uh, because of a question uh, sent to me by Unlimited Trading Card Games, uh, commented on a video a while back. I can't remember which video it was. Uh, I think it was like on a it was on the Sao Reedit. That's what it was uh, when we were doing our Reedit, just going over the new cards that Sao had. Mm-hmm. Um, he's like, "Hey, man, kind of a side question here, but uh, how is?" the vivid strike set and would it be worth investing in and like i knew a vivid strike because of the uh the lyrical nonaha series Mm -hmm. um so i knew about it and i just you know we we have a trial deck currently right out right now and uh like the immediate answer because i actually have still haven't gone over the trial deck yet but the trial deck's like blue green and mm-hmm. like I, I like that color combination anyway. It's pretty good. <laughs> so I mean, hell, um, it's two thirds of my Conti deck. So it's <laughs> yeah. Um, but that's whatever. Uh, but yeah, it is like I don't know what to say right now because nothing has really been leaked. Um, yeah, yeah, they've been like not really like. Well, I mean, like. The booster comes out June twenty third. Yeah. So, but the thing is, like, I don't like. I think next week, my well, my theory is that um, next week they're going to start be, uh, showing Love Life, Love Life Sunshine spoilers. Oh, true, because that is literally right around the corner. Yeah, and then probably after that, then that's when they think they'll do uh, Vivid Strike because they both of them come out in June. Yeah. For Jake. And uh, from what you told me, is you're not going to be able to mix sets. But have you like how is the lyrical Nonaha other the, the other sets for that? Um, I know they have like EBs and whatnot mm-hmm. from like the movies and the seasons and whatnot. How is that in Japanese? As far as like in the Japanese format, does it rank high uh, at all? I think um, I haven't played Weist that long, <laughs> that long enough because I know it's been it's like a pretty like older set, like it's an older set. Mm-hmm. I think so. The like, effects are kind of outdated but okay i think it's it's more playable than like other older older sets so hashtag fairy tale needs a reprint what <laughs> yeah. but for like the um td plus for vivid strike mm-hmm. like um looking through it like the effects and stuff like that um actually i think it's a good um like trial deck for beginners like since since it comes with like uh it actually comes with like a level one uh combo like mm-hmm. comics combo and like the change the level three change is like uh the level two to level three change like the level three is actually not that bad okay it feels, yeah i think it gets power and then um i think that's a great way to show uh new players how to like properly like know like the the more important mechanics of the game because if you look at like the old um trial like trial decks for for english at least like the love live first trial deck yeah they had like a level zero combo, uh, one wonderful rush, and it's yeah. plus two soul, and it's a level zero combo, and then like you just, I think you pay a certain amount of, you pay like one stock or whatever, and you give someone five k power, 
it's for level zero and like i guess that's kind of cool but then it's like uh i think that's like kind of a weird way to like introduce new players into the game yeah as opposed to like the the trial deck immediately after that that they had it was whatever the second one was for love live had Hmm. a level one climax combo that was like 1k1 shot trigger or something like that with a katori that on swing pay one search for a music character just straight up yeah so it's like that's just a, like a really weird jump from we're just giving a massive boost to we're doing what like a it's not it wasn't even a trial date plus mm-hmm. but it's i mean hell that's what most of the meta decks quote unquote do anyway is we're trying to get all this search early on and get your pieces and shit yeah so and it's then, like kind of a weird jump mm-hmm. and then um for the um vivid strike like the foils are actually like if you manage to pull like an sp there's two sps in the uh, set and like Ooh. both S- I mean the trial deck and both of the SPs are worth over a hundred bucks uh, for the- what's that worth that's not that bad and they also have the triple R's and those are still worth some money so damn I didn't realize that like I mean yeah. shoot must be must be something then so yeah the trial deck pl- like because of the trial deck plus being a new thing and they're coming out with boosters for each of the sets that have a trial deck plus actually they're going in reverse for uh one of them like they already had like um for re-zero is getting a trial deck plus later yeah which is like weird because it's like it's supposedly mostly reprinting stuff but it's got a few new Mm -hmm. cards in there yeah uh Last year, um, they well actually beginning of this. I think Rezero was actually the last uh, like white set right? to yeah. Rezero was actually the uh, last white set to um, uh, have like their final like the final trial deck uh, that white uh, started like they, that they've been doing. So after that, then that's I oh I think actually, actually no I think Love Life Sunshine also had wait. I don't know if Love Life Sunshine had a trial deck plus or just a regular trial deck. It was regular I, trial deck. I remember yes. uh, Buddy getting that. All right. All right, so maybe it was it was like one of those sets that were like uh, was Chain like Chronicle. last. Yeah, Chain yeah. Chronicle was a trial deck plus as well. But see, now it's got a booster as mm-hmm. opposed to most. Basically, the the pattern we're seeing for the most part minus re zero is a lot of the decks, that, a lot of the series that have the trial deck pluses coming out are eventually getting boosters and they seem to be, you know, doing pretty good. We're about to see that for Bang Dream, mm-hmm. but I think Bushiro is going to kind of go balls to the wall on that one because it's, you know, it's there. It's something they own completely. They're going to be like, we're going to make this good. <laughs> I think Bang Dream was the first trial deck plus. I think you're correct on that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and, because that was started the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, and then um, I think... uh. I think it's good value. Yeah. It's because the way they distribute the ratios, like with the older trial decks, a lot of the trial decks, you only got like one copy of like a really good card. Mm-hmm. Has so you have like, memories. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So you have to buy like multiple copies or like go, go through like a epic quest to find like someone that's selling singles of that one copy that you need or whatever. Okay. So even better example, the freaking, uh, from the idol master, the level zero, uh, Ren, yeah, the yeah the blue card. Yeah. Like I saw people running like, uh, people who ran the nation blue build were you know four copies of that thing. So it's like you had to either just get four trial decks straight up of this, mm-hmm. or you had to or you had to pick it up elsewhere. So yeah, that's I yeah, <laughs> it's a and search, then I like so, yeah yeah and then I like also how like we got again with the mechanics of why they like implemented like brainstormers mm-hmm. like actual uh and then also um runners I think mm-hmm. that that was pretty cool. Absolutely. I was surprised. Um, Because the Bang Dream has a free runner. I believe Chain Chronicle has a free runner. I could be completely wrong on that. Mm -hmm. Um, But, I mean, like, all of them just have, like, such interesting effects. Like, the level threes, the finisher level threes for the uh, Chain Chronicle were also really fabulous. So, if, if it reaches... If it's following that same pattern... Especially where if it's a, if it's a trial deck plus versus a regular trial deck, I could see it as a potentially better investment, as opposed mm-hmm. to if it was just a, if it was just uh, like a, a regular trial deck. Yeah, definitely. So I mean, I don't know if that's the exact pattern you want to follow, but mm-hmm. until like more of the stuff gets put out, I can't say for sure or not. 
Like if you want to do pre- like if you want to do pre-orders on it, dude. Um. Uh, I, I'd honestly say hold off until like you see some of the stuff that gets printed. But yeah, uh, personal opinion. Yeah, one of my friends, uh, Cody, when he went to uh, the Jacksonville regionals, he yep. he went with um, uh, the Bang Dream Trial Deck Plus, and like yeah, he, he ended up doing actually pretty good for just being like a two two TD pluses. He got he went four two. Dude, so, that's actually really good too. Like, as, especially like exposed to the whole like meta environment. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like so. you're expecting to see the, the you know crazy stuff that you know it has to go against, especially. Um, like I'm guessing the uh, as far as like one of the versions that he went like that could be potentially gone with, if he does like the salvage combo. I mean that's like one of the cl- main climax combos. So yeah, more than likely ran that. I don't know uh, what all. I don't want to assume, but more yeah. than likely, you know. And then you got to worry about stuff like that between both now two of Ru and Kantai having anti salvage in there. It's like whoa, okay, yeah. <laughs> um, so. Yeah, like like if you if it, if Bushiro tries to follow that pattern of this as a trial deck plus we're coming out with a booster later, I could see that as a potential like good like like how a visual novel has the good flags, the death flags, and all that yeah <laughs> kind of thing. I can, I can see that as you know going hey this ought to be pretty damn good or close. You know I don't know if it'll be like top tier shit, but yeah. You know. For um, the later trial decks at least, um, before like why what, what I like to use to do is like you could tell by like probably a couple cards like um like what the theme of like you can get a hint of like what the uh like the booster set's gonna be like obviously like it doesn't apply to all the uh, sets because like i think for like two or two or like the trial deck mm-hmm. like it was i felt it was i felt like it was like a normal like regular trial deck yeah but like and then like when you compare like the trial deck to like the booster like you have yami so I guess it just depends. Maybe there's like just a couple cards. Yes. Well, that's just my personal like tidbit. I mean, if nothing else, like you said, like it has some pretty uh, interesting stuff. I getting the trial deck plus would probably be a good idea. Mm-hmm. Uh, especially you said one of the other guys had uh, had picked it up. Yeah. Um. So shoot, we might have to ask him at some point how it runs and uh see how that goes. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> excuse me. But as uh. As far as that, um, to unlimited trading card games, I would say wait a little bit on the booster, but go ahead and get the trial deck plus. Personal opinion, but um, other than that, like we have, of course, umpteen other sets that got announced recently, um, between both Japan and English. Like, uh, wait, no, no, they only announced AOT two for English, like confirmed. But you know, that's just yeah. around the corner. By the time mm-hmm. we get stuff, they'll be coming out with more but mm-hmm. i kind of wanted to look at those sets that well firstly in english but then we'll go to ja- the japanese because they have like a whole bunch more plus mm-hmm. they have star wars what the hell yeah <laughs> yeah that alone just raises a whole big okay i have to at least see what the hell this is because i already have had people making jokes of i want just a all stormtrooper dot deck <laughs> yeah yeah it's, it's bound to happen so like in order of what's coming out we have, um, at the time of this recording, this will be posted, because we're recording this early, um, by the time this is posted, I want to say, hold up, I had to look at my calendar, sorry, <laughs> today's the 12th, so, one, two, okay, by the time this comes out, Abyssals and Excel World will already be out, so, like, I have been hyped for Abyssals for a long while now. Um, as opposed to Excel World, apparently for this set is not supposed to be as good because Infinite Burst is where it's at, from what I have been told. Yeah, it's just the first set for Excel, Excel World. And then, like, if you compare, like, the, uh, the, like, the meta build for, like, mm-hmm. the JP for Excel World, like, there's, like, barely any cards that you use from the first set. And I think even if you use those cards from the first set, they're just, like, tech choices. Yeah. There's just, like, there's more cards to use from the, um, updated like excel world booster the infinite uh, yeah. show, the, whatever it's called yeah um because that was something that was told to me a long while back before excel world ever got announced for english mm-hmm. um i was talking to some people just various people and i'm like hey what would what would you say to be something to look for in case 
it came over here, you know, just as far as yeah. like stuff that would be in the meta. And that was one of the ones pointed out to me that Excel world was in the meta in Japan. Yeah. And I'm going, okay, this might be interesting because I saw the show years ago mm-hmm. and off, I like it. So. Off of the, um, my, one of my friends in Mika, he used to play like the first set of Excel world, like when it was in JP, like before the um, second set was announced or whatever. Yeah. And then, like, all I could remember was, um, one of the key like mechanics that Excel World does is accelerate, mm-hmm. but then they have a level three um, uh, that accelerates at low- <laughs> accelerates to like bounce uh, cards back to your opponent's hand. So I I think that's it's like high risk high reward. That's I guess if you really, for- yeah, because I can <laughs> understand yeah like other sets that I've seen that have accelerate, um, mm-hmm. most notably like Kill a Kill. Yeah. did a lot of their accelerate stuff early on uh level mm-hmm. zero and one um and of course kill a kill was like you know way up there for a long while it's kind of dipped off now um mm-hmm. uh, and this is just talking english i don't even know how it is in japan uh for that at yeah. all but like so accelerate has been around i know sao had some accelerate stuff but you know they did all that stuff early on for level three i can't see anyone actually sitting there and willingly going, you know, yeah. <laughs> let, let's do this. Unless, you know, like your opponent's so close to dead, it's crunch time. You have to have an effect go off. Mm-hmm. They got minus soul on your ass or something. I don't know. You know just, I could yeah. understand where, you know, if it's, if it's a yellow play, but if it's like you're playing this and there's, they still have a lot of life left. You're not going to want to do that. Yeah, definitely. So, I don't, I don't even... Um, so I'm going to have to look into the Infinite Burst set because I, I still haven't looked at all of it. Uh, I looked at some of the cards for the, like, the regular set and it's it's okay. Like, I just... Eh. Yeah, like, I think, to, like, from my personal opinion, I don't think it's going to really impact the uh, meta, the English meta, at least, so... I mean, but if, like, if people wanted to build a cell war, like, by all means, go for it. Yeah. It's, it's like, yeah, it's, it's like, you know to each their own, but at the same time, I probably won't. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, I'm obviously going to be getting abyssals. I don't even care if it's going to be like meta or not. I don't care. I've been waiting. It has been so fucking long for them to get it to us. I'm just gonna be like, I'll, I'll take my time on building stuff. I don't care. It's an EB. So, yeah. Um, but then immediately, like not immediately, but the next month after that, we have bang dream. To mm-hmm. which everyone's like, you know, Bushiroad's gonna go, like all in on this, and it's gonna be like it's just gonna be the, the some of the new hotness as far as like meta is going. Yeah. So for English, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. A personal take on like just banging just like the cards have been spoiled so far for uh, JP. Um, yeah, I noticed money. that it's, we're gonna get the brainstormer. For, mm-hmm. Like when we do get it for English, um, there's a brainstormer that um, it, it it's the second card in Weiss to uh, to um, brainstorm for five instead of four cards. It's locked to specific climaxes, like uh, like a Triaprimus. Yeah, it, yeah, it's locked to the new um, switch trigger, or whatever it's called. Oh, for real? And pants. Yeah, and in pants. So um, oh, you're dude. kind of forced to play. Yeah, you're kind of forced to play those climax if you're um, if you want to get the full like if you want to get like a more successful brainstorm but yeah, i think but it's the a way those trick. combos go off it's like the, the way i can see that being set up later i mm-hmm. have no problem with that <laughs> yeah yeah i feel like the extra card is worth it because mm-hmm. there's like I've, I've always talked about like five like these type of brainstormers the now and um uh this new bang dream brainstorm realm that fi- that fifth card can actually make a difference yeah like, it, like <laughs> when you like brainstorm for four and you hit nothing in the next card ends up being the climax is it always feels bad mm-hmm. oh no i know exactly where you're coming from on that that's happened to me a lot <laughs> yeah I and mean, even the extra card like even if you hit no cards like getting five like potential damage from your deck is still nice yeah exactly especially if you do know that you're out a whole bunch of climaxes but you still have a yeah. lot left in that is yeah great. is is that one uh, what, what's the cost on that total like to to pay the brainstormer for that um, I think it's just pay one, tap two. Damn, I would think that'd be like a higher thing, but 
I guess tap two is yeah. still fair. I don't know. If, uh, but... Yeah, if it, if it was pay one tap itself, and like if you had two in the back row, you can just like <laughs> go through ten cards through your deck. That's kind of dumb. <laughs> Good point, because that would be ridiculous. Not like, yeah. not like people ain't gonna try, but still. Yeah, I mean technically you can live. You like just play more cards down. You can technically yeah. get multiple brainstorms off, but yeah, that's just, that's just I wouldn't recommend so it. Much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unless you absolutely like have to. Yeah. Like, okay, I know there are no cards left in deck. We are going to get 13 out right now. 5-5 five, five and then attack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, it, it, that's just, oh, man. If you absolutely had to, that'd be crazy. But yeah. that's really cool. I, I do like that, too, like that odd number. Mm-hmm. Especially for especially after 4 being, like, the main thing. That people don't even have to, like, change up what they say when they say, oh, you brainstorming for every climax you do, da 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 Because everyone's automatically assuming, oh, well, you're milling 4. Mm-hmm. So, like, I can't remember what set it was, um, but there was one that was like a mill three. It, there was a brainstormer that was a mill three recently. I can't remember what it was now that I remember reading that, mm-hmm. but it was so weird and so like specific that it, I just kind of looked at it and went, "The fuck?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, but either way, they're gonna be leaking out a whole bunch of that. Like sure, even by the time this uh, this comes out, they'll have probably more. They'll have more stuff leaked out. Mm-hmm. Like I, I'm curious as to see what all they're gonna do for this. It's probably gonna be like a full blown four colors for the uh, for the booster. Yeah, I think I think there's only three colors. I think there's only blue, green, and red. I don't know if there's any yellow cards. And I think the green cards are like whatever, but. I don't know. Someone can make it. <laughs> like, I mean, true. Um, the uh, uh, as far as like the other bands that because I remember it's also based off of a um a, a mobile game. Yeah, yeah, Bush. Yeah, there's a um, yeah, mobile game. <laughs> so, I know there's Pop and Party, which if we've seen since we've seen so far, is mm-hmm. both like red and blue in the Trident Plus. Yeah. Um. Glitter green, which you know that's obviously the green portion of it. What other, what other bands are there? Oh, uh, I haven't actually seen watched the anime yet, <laughs> so I have no clue. This is, this is where we need Joe Schmo in here because I know he's yeah. watched it. Yeah, and, uh, he says Ty is love, Ty is life. So <laughs> that's all I know. It looks like most of the cards that have been spoiled though have been mostly just like the girls from um the pop and party, the main band. So oh, okay, okay. So, like, yeah. I, I'm kind of in the same boat. I probably watched, like, the first two episodes of the anime and was like, mm-hmm. this isn't bad. It, I just got K-On feels the whole time. Like, Yeah, I, yeah, I can see where you're coming from. <laughs> yeah. I mean, shoot, I love K-On. Don't get me wrong, but yeah. I just, I don't know. Like, I, I couldn't completely get into it, but at the same time, it was you know interesting for the anime. It was still interesting concept. I still plan to go back and watch it all at some point, but. Either way, I, I remember seeing some of the cards for Glitter Green because I know they they they, they spoiled some of them for that. Mm-hmm. Um, so they may end up just doing three colors. If they end up doing a full blown four colors, that'll be interesting to see how that goes. Um, yeah. Then after that, because they had to switch the the dates on it, um, coming out in. Mm-hmm. Okay, so wait, Bang Dream is in June. Yeah. So in July it's is Persona it's, Five. Yeah. Bruh, I am so ready for that. Yeah. I, <laughs> my, bo- my body is ready for that. Yeah, I'm oh. excited. Oh yeah, I think. Yeah. Oh yeah. For, I forgot to mention uh, for Bane Dream and Persona Five for English at least. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they're doing it for JP, but um, if you order at least like four boxes or something from like wherever you get it, usually you you'll get a uh, a mat too that they come that comes they're with. They're bringing that back. Yeah. yeah. Okay, because I know that used to be a thing and they stopped doing it for a long while. Mm-hmm. Um, luckily I knew people who still got the play mats and I was able to pick up uh like a two every play mat. I knew another buddy was able to get the sunshine play mat and all. Yeah. Um, even without that deal. But that's still really yeah. cool, like bringing that back in because you know, neat little play mats to get like that, not like super expensive. It's not like Spellgrounds that's like crazy expensive. So yeah, it's neat to get little stuff like that. But that, no, that's cool. Um, yeah, it's especially nice to like match or like when you go to locals and like you play with like whatever deck you're gonna be playing. Absolutely. That day. 
just show off your swag. <laughs> yeah. I, I totally admit to doing that with two of Rue for both Alien and Yamikon. <laughs> yeah, the mat yeah, the mat uh that you that you get from that set is actually pretty nice. I like how they've like been stepping up on like mat design. Absolutely. Like it, it as opposed to like the very first like Kantai one that I ever got, I'm going the fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, not bad not bad but still but okay yeah. no, for persona 5 i definitely would love to see the playmat that they do for that mm. and from what i have been told like persona 5 has been doing pretty good yeah there's it's been getting like a good amount of representation in jp um it kind of i they have um some well like the whole restriction list mm. um like most people will agree that like the restriction list is based on like representation and like uh, solely like the JP tournaments. So um, I'm kind of worried if Persona Five is going to be on the next restriction list just because of how it's been represented. But um, I don't. I think personally it'll be fine because there's not. I don't think there's any like overwhelming cards from the entire set. I mean, they had some crazy stuff. I'll admit, because. Mm. Um, you know, for the, for a while, everyone was like, "Okay, that level three Joker is where it's at because of that crazy ass burn damage." Yeah, um, but even then, I I can't foresee that as like, you know, like the the end all thing. Yeah, when but, I first like most people's reactions to like Joker, like the level three when it was first spoiled, I was like, "Oh my god, this card's like broken or whatever." Yeah, and then, like it heals and stuff, and like but when you actually like read through the set and like look at the requirements for it like it's actually it's it's nice that you get the effect you can choose to do the effect at the near the end of your turn Mm -hmm. um but the thing is like all your opponent's characters have to be either reversed or like um open lane so yeah so it, it takes some time to set up and also getting the burn off um is like can be a bit like challenging as well even with like the two one um assist to help you uh, scry on your last joker attack mm-hmm. so it's not like a guarantee it's not like a guaranteed like scary finisher like yami or whatever yeah no this that's understandable too and like you said because of it being at the end of the turn you can see how everything goes first before you pay massive ass cost so yeah i mean you hope yeah, that well, you're going to be able to win if you're in level three already but that's yeah. whatever yeah depending on like different builds because the thing i like about like p5 is like so many builds you can make from um the cards just from like the first set but um to me like when i see joker i see it as more of like uh when i play this card like i'm not i like i don't know if like i don't know if i'm gonna like win on that turn like i don't expect to win on that turn like if i play joker or whatever mm-hmm. but if, if anything it's just he's a nice healer that that's like a good size beater as well and then it's also nice that you can technically put him in the back row and still get his effect off absolutely because he's not in the front row but yeah but like between like that, I know there's like a couple other builds that people were messing around with. Obviously, like um, I know one of the things you mentioned was using the Futabas. Yeah. Um, so that card, yeah. that card, <laughs> it's good. <She> <laughs> crazy. I'm, I'm happy that like my the my best girl <laughs> ends up having like a good card, and it's like flavorful too. That's why mm-hmm. I like I like P5 as a whole set in general because like it's it's like flavor like the card the effects are actually pretty good in the flavor behind the cards it's like oh like we're actually playing through the game it's like oh my god this all makes sense now <laughs> absolutely that's where i see this and i'm like just all this all like especially after we did the set discussions on whatnot minus the salt on the on on half of the group that was going through the discussion <laughs> yeah. at the time <laughs> that was pretty funny like hearing, yeah like, it, it got pretty bad in that first one <laughs> um but like looking over that i'm like this is definitely a set that i personally want to get into and get invested into yeah um between uh honestly like p5 and abyssals are gonna be my thing obviously Mm -hmm. i'm gonna be i'm gonna be going into bang dream not like super heavy invested i'm more gonna be helping other people with it yeah um mostly because i just i know like at least three of the other guys out there are gonna be wanting to get get stuff for that i know joe for for sure Mm -hmm. um but then when, when, like, AOT2 comes out, I had been, like, because that got confirmed along with when, uh, it's going to be, like, shortly after Japan gets it or something like that. It's on the same day, uh, same day release. It, it's Okay, okay, I didn't realize that was the same day, because I think they said the first set, there was a month difference. 
for the first yeah, set? Yeah, for English, yeah. The first set, we, um, English got it first, and then, like, after a month or so, then JP got it. Okay, the same day release for that. That's going to be interesting, considering both both formats getting it right right out the gate. Mm-hmm. Considering, I, I know some people are like, okay, you know, AOT is only but so good. Um, the fact of that it does have a good representation in English, I don't know how it is in Japan, but it does have a good repre- a, a decent representation in English. Yeah. And I'm curious to see as if that booster will help it further impact the meta. Mm. So that would be a very interesting set if I were interested in it to invest into, but I just, I don't have anything AOT related. I don't, I don't have any AOT decks whatsoever. So I built a Titan deck and gave that to a buddy. So Mm. that, that was, but that was the extent of it. Granted, that's also mean we're going to get more Titan stuff. So I'll have to tell him about that and be like, Hey, let's see what we get. So, yeah. Um, uh, AOT comes out in uh, September, so so if it if it comes out on both uh, both JP and English on the same day, it le- it like leaves me a question like what are we gonna get for things. August? Yeah, for uh, English, like are, if there's gonna be a set, I'm not sure if they already announced a set or if it's still like in the air or if they're just gonna skip out that okay. month because like if um Weiss for English Weiss there's been like a history where, like. I think it was last year or something. Like I think it was like in December or whatever. Like we didn't get anything at all. It's just like, like a month of nothing. I think you're I think you're absolutely correct on that. I'm trying to remember if we got we, the last one we got for 2016 was the Prisma Ilya. Yeah. yeah. And I cannot remember. Was that October or November? Um, I can look. Uh, Wait. Okay. Cause... It's it came out in October. Shoot, that means we didn't get anything for November or December. Yeah, so for English wise, at least like we've been, there's yeah there's been a history where like we've it, it's been like a month where we don't get anything. So I don't I don't know if they're gonna do anything for August. But yeah, because they would announce stuff or you know stuff would come out and it's like all of a sudden it gets pushed. Like yeah. Dream Dream got pushed back and all that. Like that's that's whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, I know uh, Joe wasn't too happy when Sunshine got pushed back. Yeah, but that was whatever. Um, so looking at it, we have that's in September. But then the other thing that was confirmed was July for Persona Five. So we have August, which I don't know what we, we ain't got nothing confirmed yet, or that, that, that's still up in the air. Um, I think, um, I know August is like this also start of like fall circuit as well for like for some places. So. Um, Good like, point, because that means like middle of the Fall Fest for mm. stuff coming out, like AOT's coming out, and you can I, I just you can probably imagine depending on what all the hell we get, like the the representation for that's going to go up. So yeah, with the recently with like um their uh, recent spring circuits, like I think mm-hmm. two weeks ago, like since Sao's been uh, re-edit's been out, like if you look at all the results, um. Uh, all I think all the regionals mm-hmm. uh, that were that that um for that week there was like at least one SAO uh, in the top eight for uh, each different region and I think Canada had like six six SAOs in their top eight I might be wrong but <laughs> that's cool I I I had to double check that because I haven't checked any updates on since uh, uh Puerto Rico came out but uh, that'll be interesting to see that because that'll that'll just be funny like. Yeah, it's like, it brings an interesting happen, dynamic because like how like currently spring Cir- spring circuit still technically going on for like mm-hmm. um other uh, other cities that are that still have yet to get it. So the mm-hmm. fact that we're still getting newer sets for English, it like makes people like if they're if they want to like get more knowledgeable on like the whole meta game and stuff. They have to like kind of be prepared with like what these sets are gonna come out like the day that they come out or whatever. Exactly, because then when sets like Persona Five come out. The Spring Fest will already be over, if I'm not mistaken, by that point. But in July. Yeah. So Yeah, it'll be too. Yeah, I think the last Spring Fest is in like July for uh Cali. But then I think by then by the time Persona 5 is released, I think yeah. it'll it's like or it'll be like too late. But yeah. um so that's kinda sad though. <laughs> I'm yeah. kinda sad because like I feel like P five is gonna be like the kinda like the black horse of of, this, of the English meta. 
a dark horse, whatever. <laughs> but so is that, uh, I was trying to remember if that was the the terminology used for it or or, or what. So I'm going, wait, is is that right? Okay. The Schwartz um, Schwartz horse. <laughs> well, yeah, we have we have the Weiss horse and the Schwartz horse. So I don't know, but yeah. uh, but yeah, like I I'm not saying that it's gonna be you know meta straight out the gate, but I can definitely see that being a top contender and definitely something that. I see worth in, uh, investing in by the time that it comes out. Yeah, the fact that all like, out. Yeah, the fact. Well, like um, against Tularo, like it's going to be uh, like a worse a worse matchup. But like against like for other decks in general that that, that don't have hex proof, like for like Kontai and Sao, like the Futaba is going to do a lot of work because it's oh, a so very true. defensive card. It like you can damage guy and also like all your pants, all your pants climax that you ran in the deck for the comp uh, for her uh, anti damage. Mm-hmm. It's pretty much running for um, for uh, anti damage counters, and then the cost to use those effects is uh, pretty cheap. You just I think pay one and you discard the specific uh, pants in your hand, and you can also do it multiple times per turn as well. Oh god, yeah. So denying like two attacks or like is pretty. Least. Yeah. And even depending or on even like... one attack, even what that one, even denying one attack, like if your if your opponent has like one last attack, you can like deny that attack and like live. And mm-hmm. like try to finish off the game next turn. So it's like, okay, well, you know, I know, you know, oh, well, this first one gets canceled. I should be perfectly fine if I cancel this last attack if they don't hit, you know, a quadruple trigger. Yeah, you know, and it all stick. You know, it's whatever. Uh, that's understandable. Like, so I I can definitely see where stuff like that's going to come into effect across between Futaba between really multiple colors in there, mm-hmm. and. Because I remember also people were talking about like the the combo for uh, the Igor, like basically with like the Igor event and like some of the setup with Fox, you could pull out the level three Fox really easily, like level one or something like that. It just required a lot uh, of stock. Yeah, you could. Yeah, you could do that. I personally wouldn't do it, but if you, I guess if you want to do that, yeah. then it's it's possible. Yeah. Right, like there's like an interaction with um uh the the two one Nor. She um with, she has a mm-hmm. green stock soul and then she also gets a blind stock and she becomes nine k to the end of your opponent's turn mm-hmm. and like she can you can only drop her if you have like a level three in your clock for level three. And there's also a Caroline where you can like pay one and then like look it up when you play a climax you can look it up top four and add like either like a Phantom Thief a Twins trait or an Eagle card like mm-hmm. Eagle Eagle character card. So the yeah. way there's like multiple triggers that you can work that off so you can like pay out your blinds you can play out your for English, you can like pay out your blind stock that you get from the two one, mm-hmm. and then with the Caroline, so you um, so you don't have to worry about like a dirty stock. You get like a free plusing card, a free card you add to your hand, and then you get the then then you can put the waiting room. You can get a green card and put it into your stock with the stock soul. So there's like some interactions that I like mm-hmm. that combo combo. That's understandable, especially because they have like all of that out. Granted, um, another thing like. That's all the stuff for the English. I wanted to ask this, and then I'm going to ask a question, and then I'm going to still answer it myself. Um, the question being, have you ever invested in a set as far as like going and like picking up booster boxes of it, um, and going you know like getting like all sorts of packs and whatnot for it, yeah. and then just feeling that it was a complete and total waste by the end of it? Um, my answer for that is yes, I did that without looking into the set whatsoever beforehand, mm-hmm. which I should have. Like, I completely advocate if you know that the set's already out now, mm-hmm. you, you look it up first. But mine was Log Horizon because we, uh. don't, we don't have the power up sets. I probably got like a good two, three. Of the, it was an EB, sure, but yeah. like two or three of the booster boxes. And I'm sitting here going, I haven't made any money back. Mm-hmm. Unless you pull the fucking Akatsuki's, and even at that point, it was like, eh. yeah. So, like that was it. If you didn't pull the Akatsuki's, you you had nothing. Yeah. So I'm sitting there going, like maybe have one Akats, one or two Akatsuki out of like a couple boxes. Yeah. And I'm going. This was a very bad investment choice for me personally. Whereas getting into say like two of Rue, I got a lot of the stuff that I needed for two of Rue within only a couple booster boxes. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But I also went in and looked all that, so it's, it's whatever. Um, so I have definitely made a bad investment choice, and that was a log horizon without power up set. So I, I, I shamefully say that. So. Um, 
when I first got into the game, like I got um, the Persona for like trial decks, and that was fine. Mm -hmm. And like I wanted to get more into the game, so like I. <laughs> I was like new, so like okay, I got like uh, four booster boxes of uh, Persona Four, and like that—that's not knowing like yeah. version e, like but how limited we are with also just being version E as well. Yeah, considering I think out of that, like the better like cards out of that were mostly because they also hold their price today. Was like the Labyrinth cards. Yeah, the Labyrinth, I think, and then the Yukiko. You can still worse. had a whole bunch of stuff. Um, yeah. It still was like up there that you could do a yeah. whole lot of stuff with. Um, yeah. So I think like between those two, but if you didn't get really much of either of those, because they had like they had full four colors mm -hmm. out of all of it. So if you didn't yeah. really get a whole bunch of the Labra stuff or a whole bunch of the Yukiko stuff, you're sitting there going, "The fuck do I do?" <laughs> kind of thing. Yeah. Um. It. I think it depends well if you yeah like like for my whole experience of weiss like it's a it's a niche game in general but when yeah. you get to like when you actually like get into playing it like it's really hard to like even just trade cards with like people at your locals or like online in general because like it's like most people will play neo standard which is like so you're you you're limited to like if you make a deck then it's obviously you can only like play that one anime series you can't mix uh different animes into one deck so um I want when so most bad. people they want to get cards, they obviously just want to get cards for like whatever anime that mm -hmm. their that their deck's based off. So it's harder to like sell off cards or like mm -hmm. uh, even like sometimes like buy buy off cards too because um, especially for English because like things will be like out of stock like an older set or whatever or like yeah. a, just a really good card from an older set or something or even like a foil from like an older set will be like hard to find and exactly. like the prices and, too yeah. yeah. And then you happen to go to like, if you just happen to go to like a shop that does have like a couple of booster packs of that, you're looking at it and going, it's like there's gold right in front of me. Why couldn't I find you? Um, yeah. It's that <laughs> happened with Joe for uh, going through Persona. Like he wanted, when he, Harry picked up stuff, but then he really, really wanted to get into it after he played um, Persona 4 Golden. Uh, mm -hmm. And he's just like, I did, like no places were selling it. So he. It, he had to just search around so much just to get what he had has now. Yeah. And so I, yeah, no, I can completely understand where it's like a whole bunch of older sets. It's, it's an issue. It's aggravating. And unless you get it within the, I, I want to say like within the first couple months, really, I say first yeah. couple months, but guaranteed at least six months of, a, of a pack being out is when you want to be getting the stuff for it. Yeah, because people for, will still have it and it will still be in stock for the most part. Yeah, for English, I think it also depends on like the series, like the booster series, because like mm -hmm. the ratios are different for like every like booster uh, box. Yeah. So, because like, so, like if you look at like SAO re, re edit, like there's only you get one triple R right per box, and then like you can also randomly get the SP, and you still get you still get the triple R in the same box. Yeah, which but, uh, if, like, but if you can like compare to like Cinderella Girls, you get like six double Rs. And yeah. like you also get a SR and a triple R or whatever, so yeah, it, I, it depends on the like series as well. That's also to consider when buying a um set. Good point, because the like like you said, the double rares they they had a whole bunch of double rares for Idol Master. It was a mm -hmm. little bit bigger than your normal set as well. Yeah, so they had a lot of cards. Whereas, like you said, going back to re-edit, they have eight double rares if I remember correctly, and yeah. So they're not. There's definitely not going to be as much. Um, yeah. I think you I get think four, I think, per box for Sao re, re edit, and then also the yeah. thing with like Sao re edit is that like you're not guaranteed like one of every color. Like I've seen some openings on like videos, like some people only got like uh, red. I think uh, they got only like red, blue, or whatever, and no yellow or, whatever, or something like that. Like they're missing out on some colors. Yeah. So it depends. Yeah. On the set, yeah. It really just does depend on the set, to which uh, I'm just going to say to people right now watching, we do set discussions on various stuff. So, <laughs> yeah, you check them out. <laughs> totally, you know, shameless plug for the channel within the channel, right? What the f <laughs> um, But yeah, no, no, like, that's that's one th reason I like doing the set discussions for, even if it's, like, in Japan, I like to go ahead and be going over certain stuff. It, it just depends on the set. 
Um, mm -hmm. One of the ones that, now that I realize that it's out, um, is I want to go over Chain Chronicle coming up soon, but I want to be able to watch the anime first. Yeah. Or like the movies or whatever the fuck. So it's a lot of that different stuff I want to be able to go over and, and look and see, hey, is this worth it? So yeah. it's, I think, it's definitely do your homework type thing for yeah, a lot of sets. In general, I think like uh, for like a rule of thumb for my advice is like, mm -hmm. uh, just know like if you go into any card game, like if you want to like invest away, like it's going to kind of, it's going to be expensive no matter what. And then like generally singles are usually like the way to go. If you want to like make a deck or whatever and like save some money. So you have to like buy like a kajillion like booster boxes and like rely on luck to like pull the cards that you need. Exactly. Like still like probably have to like go fetch for some singles that you have to get as well. So that's right. Because if I'm not mistaken, you said you didn't really uh, get like any booster boxes of Tula Vru, but you you just ended up buying the cards. Yeah, just I'm getting the singles, and like I I was lucky enough to get like good deals from like people that did sell me the singles and stuff. So yeah, I uh, just gotta do your homework on that. It's a little bit easier for English as well. Like we'll we'll close up on the English ones for <clears throat> this podcast, and we'll do another uh, talk for a part, um, or do another part sure. at some point talking about like the Japanese ones. Mm -hmm. Maybe once like a couple more get confirmed for stuff. Yeah. Um, because I mean we have a lot of confirmed stuff, but I, I kind of want to see some stuff as well. Um, I'm gonna close on like this thought real quick, and that is English. It's a lot easier when you want to see if you want to invest in stuff because more often than not, minus a couple sets is it's already out in Japan first and then we get it. Um, exceptions yeah. to this being really the only ones that I can think of are attack on Titan and bang dream. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's about it. Otherwise everything else comes out first, as opposed to if you want to invest in Japanese, <laughs> excuse me, sorry, my throat's trying to screw up there. Um, as far as Japanese, because it's brand spanking new, they leak some yeah. cards. They, they they show little sneak peeks of stuff here. It's like, ooh, look shiny. Yeah. For a couple stuff, but you can never be you can never be certain that that's all gonna be the same thing. Yeah. Or, yeah. There's a I, general of fun. Like, I think personally, I think JP singles are a bit more cheaper than um, English, mm -hmm. but um. For both format, uh, for both formats, I noticed that like there's always like a hype like on release like the the oh, prices yeah. will be like more than what they're worth. I feel like so. Um, Absolutely. So avoid the hype prices too. That's that's the damn dream. Yeah, like some people are, like understand like for English at least like most people refer to uh, JKTCG, and like um I guess most people like from when I sell cards like I. I go by JKTCG price, but I also go a bit a bit lower just so I can try mm -hmm. to sell cards because I, it's yeah. kind of hard in general to sell Weiss cards. But like, obviously, like, do your homework on that, and like, also like, don't lowball people. <laughs> oh god, no, no, it's, <laughs> like, like if I if Musashi is like twenty five on JKTCG, I'll like sell it for twenty, but like, I definitely won't like sell it for like five dollars or whatever. So. Speaking of, I actually had to mention, uh, ask you something about that. Um, speaking of Musashi specifically, but that'll be after this. Um, but for for now, we're going to close off. This will be like our, our part one of our um, investing discussion. And we'll get um, on part two will be out. It won't be consecutive for part two. That'll probably be coming out later because I have some other stuff that I want to be able to do uh, collaborations with. And that'll come out in between this. But uh Oh, can I point out one thing I forgot to mention for, like, English? Like, if people are going to, like, buy into English. Go for it, dude. Just, uh, go for it. Yeah. Um, also, if I forgot to mention, like, there's, there's off, like, vendors like JKTCG and, like, yeah. IDLA right, and stuff like that. But, um, what a lot of people like to do, like, if you, if you haven't already, is to join, like, the Facebook groups for Y Schwartz. Oh, like, there's the yeah. NA. The more, I think the most popular one is the NA uh, Y Schwartz group. But then, like, mm -hmm. there's probably one in your, like, state as well. Absolutely. Wait, like, I just literally was... just started Google, uh, not Googling, fuck. Um, just like searching on Facebook of just different Weiss groups and just joined a whole bunch of them. Yeah. Like, there's just so you can probably, like get a good deal from like those Facebook groups as well. So, yeah, that's Mostly... a very good point. Yeah. So, uh, that can make it a lot easier because of people who do just like, oh, I'm getting rid of stuff or whatever. Especially if it yeah. is the one that's like out of print, you may get lucky with that if you hit them up in time. Yeah, and so, then obviously, like, do your homework on, like, the seller as well. Make sure, like, they're credible. Yeah, absolutely. Always check that. Um, 
So that's yeah, that's that's a very good that's very good to point out there for Facebook always because uh, I've gotten a lot of luck on the, I've gotten a lot of good deals for that. Hell, uh, that's how I got one of the one of the the, the last Yami that I needed for uh, my two liver deck, and it got a real good deal for it. So, um, just got lucky on that basically. But eh, that's a good good thing to point out. I hadn't even considered that. Is obviously the Facebook groups doing your homework on people on the sets and everything. So, um. Before we close out, did you have any shout outs, bro? Uh, my only shout out is to if you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe to Base Damage. Because I think <laughs> I think they do they do a really good job at like putting Weiss con like uh like frequent updated like Weiss content to the community. I actually need to start <laughs> doing that more often for my channel too, which is Wife for Wars, by the way. <laughs> but <laughs> yes, that's a very definitely good point. Subscribe to Base Damage if you haven't already. Absolutely, thank you very much. And uh, link in the description for uh, Wifey Wars' channel as well. Y'all check him out. Really awesome content. Uh, and let's see. Um, we actually gave a shout out. Uh, me and uh, another guy uh, gave a shout out to Clock Kick for Salt in the last uh, podcast as well. So <laughs> y'all check out his stuff. It's, it's some really good stuff too. Um, but with that, we're, we'll go ahead and close out for now. This is Kool-Aid, and we got Waifu Wars. Hi. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he is just so hyped right now. Uh, uh, but thank you all for listening. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you all on the flip side. Peace out.